Afternoon everyone. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, the camera's not working. Many of the sites there um, at USGS Wyoming and the boreholes are not working also. Four earthquakes today. Two of them a magnitude 3.0. It all probably started with a magnitude 1.5, a foreshock. As you know, any earthquake can be a foreshock for something much larger. Just about all the sites for USGS is down. Holmes Hill is down. See that? Uh, Western Boundary, Horse Butte, Denny Creek, Grayling Creek went offline, but it came back online. Maple Creek down, Purple Mountain down, Holmes Hill. Uh, what else? Norris Junction, Mary Lake, uh, the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. I think that's what that is. Um, Grant, let's see, Pitchstone Plateau, Mount Sheridan, etc. Pelican Cove, Mirror Lake Plateau, all not working. As you know, there's been earthquakes in the past that have actually been so great, they slowed down the spin of the earth. Earthquakes have triggered volcanic eruptions. So, because so many sites are down, Okay, I got borehole 208, borehole 944. This is um, Missoula, um, Montana, and here we have Yellowstone Lake. These here are U.S. Uh, monitors, U.S. monitor. Um, those I could get working. Borehole 208 for Yellowstone. Now that is um, a short band monitor but down here we got Yellowstone Lake this is broadband this will pick up earthquakes from a great distance whereas this one here at the top is short distance same with this one here for Grant borehole 944 it was down for a long time and you'll notice a lot of earthquakes that are not being reported I've talked about in the past how Yellowstone's last major eruption, it did an unzipping eruptions in a counterclockwise rotation, starting up at the Madison River area and working its way down to Heart Lake. This is the location of these earthquakes. Here's Yellowstone Lake. This has heavy rhyolite flows that are only about 70,000 years old. The areas of Grant Pass and Pitchstone Plateau flows, um, they figured they erupted about basically the same time. It was what was called a dike intrusion, much like what's going on in Hawaii, where they have a crack that opens up and the lava flows up through that crack. I'll give you a link to this paper. Small eruptions happen about every 46,000 years. In the past 170,000 years, there have been six small extra caldera rhyolite eruptions, equivalent to an average of every 28,000 years. Eruptions in the past 100,000 years that have been largely typically produced flows of several kilometers in comparison to the domes of less than 0 0.5 kilometers. Insufficient age data exists to evaluate any possible episodes, behavior of these younger eruptions. So on average, every 28,000 years, they have a small rhyolite eruption and flow of lava. This is an area of one of those eruptions where we're having those earthquakes again. So here we have the monitor for Grant. Uh, this is borehole 944. And it actually comes in as a magnitude 3.06. That was the first 3.0. And I'm going to go down and then I'm going to come back and do these other ones. The second one was actually a magnitude 3.18, not a 3.0. And I'll show you its signature. There, I made it a little bit larger for you. And we'll go back up to this one. And then I'll go to this first one marked in red. 
That comes in as a 1.71. Then we got another one. And you notice we have volcanic tremors here. Right there, volcanic tremors. This comes in as a 2.15. And then we got another small one. Let me make that bigger so you can see it. And then there was another one, 1706. There's the spectrogram, and we'll look at the signature. That comes in as a magnitude 2.25. Remember, when Hank Hessler said, when they start having magnitude 2 earthquakes, they're going to uh, be very concerned. Maybe that's why so many monitors are turned off. All right, so then we got another one right there. We'll look at its spectrogram. That one comes in as a magnitude 2.06, not being reported. Then we got another one right there. That one comes in as a 2.43. And then we got two more marked in red. We'll look at its signature, two signatures. I'm going to break them up into the first one is a magnitude 1.16 and the second one is a 2.24 they very well could make it where it's just one long large earthquake but it's actually two you can see that there and this is volcanic tremors mixed with harmonic tremors this is from the monitor there at Grant and now I show you something else more likely, this all occurred because of that 7.0 earthquake that happened down there in Mexico. This is Missoula, Montana's monitor. And this is where that earthquake started at, where it came in. The signature came in there in Missoula. And look at the gases that came up all the way up to Missoula, Montana for that earthquake and the hot magma. And it lasted and lasted and lasted. Yeah, and I'll just come down. Look at this. For several hours. You can see the signature, how it continued to shake, rattle, and roll. Let's look at the signature here. And then there's another one that probably, more than likely, was caused by another earthquake that occurred there in Mexico in aftershock. Now this is a broadband monitor and this one here is for Yellowstone Lake. This is that earthquake there in Mexico, the 7.0, as it came in at Yellowstone Lake broadband. And you can see the line of melt all the way up here at the top. And it just shook and shook and shook and hot gases continue to come in for each line is a half an hour for quite a while. Look at the line of melt. Let me close this out so you can see how long it continued to shake. A small earthquake at 1322. See the last earthquake USGS is reporting is at 1300. Nothing being reported in the last 24 hours for 1322. We got 1156 up by Hedgen Lake, um, a 0 0.3. Ooh, wow. But nothing at 1322. So let's take a look at its signature. That comes in probably as a magnitude 1.96, and I shortened it up a lot. Then we got some more stuff here. Let's make that larger. Yeah, harmonic tremors. And along with it, we got the popping of the ground. Popping, popping. Look at that. Let's make that bigger. Harmonic tremors. 1718 harmonic mixed with volcanic tremors. And what was it showing? Let's see what it was showing when I pulled the files. Oh my goodness, that is not good. See, the, I have never seen a line of melt that bright before. I've talked about how they were thickening, 
And this is what, oh my goodness. One, two, three. Yeah, we, we very well could have, if it doesn't settle down, dike intrusion in this location. Or hydrothermal eruption there at Yellowstone Lake. Let's see what we're getting from the, uh, this is short period. Got two lines of melt. 944, borehole 944, which is Grant. And remember how Grant was an area where they're having swarms before. And magma. I've explained how it just has a natural buoyancy. It wants to rise on its own without the push of the magma um, coming up through the plume. So anyways, here we got more volcanic tremors. Another small earthquake. Let's see what it was doing. Yeah, this is when I pulled the files a little while ago. And we got another teeny tiny little earthquake there. Yeah. And here at Grant, this is when that earthquake came in uh, that happened there in Chile, or excuse me, uh, Mexico. I don't know why I got Chile on the brain. And we can see all the blobs of magma that were coming in and the earthquakes that are not being reported. Lots of them. Going back to Missoula, Montana, when I pulled the files. Yeah, let's look at the signature. You have volcanic and harmonic tremors. Now this is broadband, so it picks up the stuff that's coming from far away. Yeah, look at that. So my son's going to a concert in Brookings. Gonna, it's an outdoor concert. They're expecting thousands and thousands of people. Um, I told him if he heard a loud boom, he would know it was probably Yellowstone, but he said it was probably going to be too noisy there. So I told him, well, watch for snow. <laughs> if it starts snowing, it wouldn't be snow, it'd be ash. Um, <laughs> yeah, keep an eye out for that. But looking across here, um, the different lines of melt, the different magma that came in. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it's no wonder they shut down the different monitors. But see, Missoula, Montana is picking up that activity that's going on down there at Yellowstone. I think they just pulled the power plug or maybe the earthquake, the, the three point earthquakes, uh, somehow disrupted the monitors. Not all of them, which is interesting. Um, but that's all I have for you right now. If any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.